Yo guys, what's up? Shadow here and welcome back to another episode of Kenshi today. Well, we're still... Oh god. <laughs> the big caravans to the chairs. The musical chairs game begins. Um, today, we are still um, building up the base again. Um, trying to get a lot of things figured out and... and, and changed up as well a little bit because i have um something i want to do today urgently and it is kind of inspired by um lots of comments i've been got uh, been getting recently on my uh, previous videos yes uh, from in specific from ken barney um has a lot of good input to be fair on the episode seven uh uh, or like a year ago, but still I really appreciate all the input I'm getting and one of the um, comments he made uh, on one of the Super super far way back videos because I apparently ran into that problem back then as well um, We have seen sometimes the food production gets stuck Also because for example as you just saw things like that when things get stuck and that's because I have several food recipes running in the same um, cooking station. Now, I can just basically build more cooking stations uh, um, and then I'll put Molly to all of them. And that will mean that she is able to cook three different things. And as if one runs out of... Um, um, resources then she can still continue with the rest so that's good now i'm also gonna take this opportunity to build a tiny little building that is basically just gonna be cooking stations and i think it's just gonna be a, s a small shack for the most part i think that's big enough and i also think it's it's potentially possible to stick that somewhere around here maybe Mm, well, okay, I don't want to stick it right in front of the freaking um, production line there for the bread. That's not good. But maybe over here is not bad, you know? That doesn't look bad. Okay. Like this. And then in here we're going to put up, I think, three cooking um, stoves. And then we're going to assign Molly to all three of those. And hopefully that also will um, fix the clipping that Molly experiences around this corner. Hopefully. We'll see if that actually works. But uh, yeah, that is uh, the, the thing we're going to try today. Also, I'm just curious. Did we now uh, build uh, everything in here already or did we not? Just want to check real quick. Also, apparently we have enemies at the gates somewhere. No, we haven't built these yet. Okay, so this is going to happen soon-ish. First this will happen and then... Okay, cool. So, now crafting... Oh, actually it's on the food, isn't it? Yeah, cooking stove. So we'll just slap a few of these together. And we want one for uh, dust witches, then one for um, chew sticks, and one for the vegetables. And then we'll just put up one more spare, just in case we have another food group that we want to um, start making, you know? And as always, my freaking... Um, Door guardians or gate guardians, wall guardians are somehow off the walls again. Uh, I love this game sometimes. Or I rather hate it, actually. But you know what I mean. It's a bit infuriating every once in a while. Funnily enough, it doesn't happen to these guys. Good thing that it doesn't happen to this guy because he would be stuck. Neither does it happen to that guy up there. It's just basically this wall here that it's uh, crap for some reason. I'm not sure why though. Getting these two in. There we go. Now we can close that up again. Okay. 
What is Raggy doing? Where is he working? Oh, we're, we're completing benches in the... Uh, yeah, good. We're getting more seating space. As you can see, we still have a lot of seating space that we need to deal with. Alright, one cooking stove is good. Can we rename those? That would be the most um, useful feature. Because, um, obviously now, I have several cooking stoves here. And now, luckily I know that these are the four new ones, but still. If you don't know that, it's gonna get really complicated. So, let's make one with chew sticks, one with cooked vegetable, one with dust switches. Oh, and let's make one with dried meat, right? That's a good idea. Let's make that. So, there we go. Repeat. And then we'll get Molly. Once this is all finished, we'll get Molly to get them all in the... Uh, in her uh, auto job setup. And then hopefully she'll be able to um, get a lot more food churned out than normal. I wonder if she's gonna get um, the, the raw meat from here. All right. Yeah, all of them are done. Okay. So let's see, where is the normal cooking stove? The normal cooking stove is here. We'll delete that. Oh, now I just deleted something else that I probably sh Oh, no, wait, I deleted the other cooking stove. Hold on. There we go. So, it is more important than corpse disposal, I would say. Why do I have the corpse disposal twice? That is curious. Oh, well. Yeah, let's just make these uh, first priority for her. Hauling two, that machine doesn't exist anymore, I don't think. Operate automatic machine. Yeah, that's that should be fine. Let's see. Now she starts putting all the different resources where they need to go. Yeah, and right now we obviously we're we're missing cacti. Cacti right now is not uh, ready yet. But soon. Soon a few of the cacti fields will be ready. And this field, of course. So we have a new field as well. This is hopefully going to be ready too. In a, in a short while. Look at that. Now we get the people over here sitting all about. <laughs> there we go. Somebody else going to sit down? Yeah. Okay, we have a few more people that are... Oh, or maybe not. Are there no more people that need to sit down, or are people stuck? Ah, no, it looks like now we finally have enough benches and whatnot. At least it looks like it. Good. Very good indeed. So yeah, now I'm just, I'm just curious if we're actually able to get this stuff fixed. That would be the most important part now. Um... I might even want to hire a few more people to work on the fields. Although I think they are... They they can do it. They're quick enough. For the harvest. Now, the hemp... I'm not sure the hemp is even getting harvested at this point anymore. Because we have completely full hemp storage. And full... Um, or almost full fabric storage. You know? So, yeah. Not, not really needed at this point. But there we go. We get our little cantina set up over here. I like it. <laughs> I really like it. Looks cool. Um, I was also thinking about maybe building one of these. One of the big outpost thingies. Just to see how it looks. If we can slap that down somewhere. It's a bit... Um, it's a bit, a bit weirdly positioned. I wanted to do it to be more like this, but... Hmm. So we have outpost... Three... And outpost four. Do we? The outpost four thingy. Hmm. Yeah, we could, could pull, put it like over here, but that's not a good position. Neither is this. 
Yeah, it's very hilly around here, so it's difficult to position this stuff. Ah, uh, maybe, maybe another time. I think for now we're pretty good. Um, I might want to put down a few more wind um, power devices. Uh, ge no, not generators. Wind generators, that's right. A few more of these, just in case. Because now we use a bunch more light. And then the once the, uh, the green fruit planters are ready, I think they will take quite a lot of energy too, I have the feeling. So, yeah, we'll see. And yeah, look at that, Molly now. Now she's... Oh, okay, okay. Now this we have to kind of um, prioritize differently. Now we have to figure this out. So now, right now she's prioritizing this. Which probably is this though. But we want her to prioritize the dust witch one. Mainly. Oh, actually, it's kind of difficult. Let's see. If we put... If we put it like that... Okay, now she's working on green fruit, is she? Okay, now she's prioritizing green green fruit stuff. Now she's... Okay, that's what I wanted. I wanted her to use cacti on... Mostly on dust witches. And if she runs out of bread, then she's doing chew sticks. And everything else will flow into these two. Now, of course, we also need light in here. Because otherwise, she probably is going to be slower. I would imagine. So we want to have two light sources in here as well. Because I'm pretty sure... Yeah, that is slowing her cooking down as well. It probably doesn't make worse food, but it is definitely... Um, making it slower, I would imagine. There we go. Much better. Yeah, she's a lot faster this way. There we go. Okay, so that is good. That is excellent like that. I love it. Now, I've also been thinking, since we have now a lot of, of the farmers that don't have um, the... Uh... Actually, I just realized a lot of the lanterns on Ray of Radiance are not on the farmers, which is kind of dumb. Who is... Raggy has one, which is fine, I suppose. Raggy, um, technically speaking, can use it. Oh, I have made some black and chain shirt for some reason. Oh, well. Um, but I thought I had more lanterns of radiance. The question is, who has them right now? So there's one now on, on knife. Wait, on knife? Why knife? I didn't want to give it to knife. I wanted to give it to Mew. There we go. Much better. Mew and Greenfinger need them. But I'm pretty sure somebody else has a lantern. I, th I thought I brought like two or three of those. So somebody else is having a lantern. Hmm. Curious. Okay. Maybe I'm giving the... Well, the, the thing is, Mew and Greenfinger mostly work together anyway. So her um, lighting is helping Greenfinger as well. So that should be mostly all right. Mostly. But, yeah. I don't know. I really hope we're now getting uh, a bit more food out. It's, it's hard to say yet, but... How is it looking on bread production? Mm, bread production has been halted since we do not have any wheat straw right now. Why is plant condition going down? Actually, it's going up again. It was down for some reason. You know what? I'm gonna put a bread storage right in... Um, bread basket right in here just so she doesn't have to go in in this building here anymore so we're gonna dismantle this one that means she can work m much more efficiently at least that is the hope <laughs> okay yeah see now she's actually getting uh, cacti from this field as well 
which is oddly enough not being tended to by these two, our main farmers. Probably hadn't it, uh, did not uh, put it into their uh, their order, it seems. And why the heck does she have still res um, iron resources in there? If At least it should be at last uh, priority for her, I think. So there we go, we get a bit more cacti. But yeah, now any moment we'll run out of, of wheat. That's the problem. And then once we have wheat again, we'll be able to get a bit more bread. But generally, it feels like we needed, we should have a lot more fields. Maybe that's just me, but it feels like it. But yeah, that is already a good idea, I think. So thank you again for the good comments. Uh, that it really, really made me think about this whole scenario again, and I think this is m way better. So now this building over here is also mostly done, I think. Yeah, look at that. They're all sitting together. Like a, yeah, it looks like a little canteen. I, I love it. And apparently we do have a few more people who want to sit down every once in a while. Okay, cool. Very nice indeed. Um, you know what? I'm gonna grab myself a guy named Beep and I'm gonna send him to Squin real quick. I think one of these places have, has a farming shop, doesn't it? I'm not sure if it's Squin or Otmark. One of these things has a farming shop, I thought. Maybe we can bring back a few more... Um, a few more... Uh, Actually, it doesn't really make sense, doesn't it? Hmm. I don't know. I kind of wanted to make more fields, but I'm not quite sure yet if... Um, if we have enough people to, to efficiently work the fields. Let me just... Let me just shadow our... Our, our, uh, our guys here real quick. So right now, yes, right now they're on the wheat. So we're getting... Uh, bread production up again. Is it just me or is that horrendously inefficient, this production, the, the bread production or the, the, the straw flour production? Maybe that's just me, but to me that feels super inefficient. Okay, and now they're working on this field. I just wonder if they have like downtime, you know? If Mew and... Uh, oh shit, she also has um, iron resources still in there. So they, they do have downtime indeed. It feels like they do. Yeah, they do. Okay, so they do have more downtime. So what we can do is we can technically try to get um, another field set up here. Like another XL Weath, Weath farm over yonder. Like here, and then maybe another, mm, maybe another cacti farm, both of which we could need more or use more. Let's say that. Uh, where do we where do we plant this over here? Yeah, we have some more space over here. Let me just um, yeah uh, set those up. So slowly but surely, we're gonna get the materials over there. Excellent. And you know what? I'm just gonna grab... Just because I'm bored. I'm just gonna grab my fighty dudes real quick. And we're gonna just send them... Uh, well, not Jeff, actually. All the fighty dudes but Jeff. Because we... we no, oh, whoops, that's not how you do that. Uh, there you go. All the fighty dudes except Jeff. And then we're gonna go into vein and try to hunt down some animals so we can get a bit more meat. I think that's a good idea, isn't it? There you go. And um, yeah, because I, especially like some foul meat and stuff like that. Because if we have more foul meat, we can then fill out the... Uh, um, 
the animal feeding troughs with foul meat and then use the normal meat for for charred meat that should give us more food as well because right now i have the um the normal the raw meat as um, animal food look at that we have a gorilla down there i think we're gonna take that guy on right there he is let's go boy um, I'm gonna micromanage Sim because otherwise he will... Well, if he shoots guy of our guys, he actually will get better at, you know, not shooting our guys, but still. There you go. Oh, where is... Oops, hop, hop shouldn't be fighting yet. Excellent shot. Ops, do your job. Thank you. Excellent stuff. Wow, no. Apparently, people didn't get that much uh, damage. That is nice. Very nice indeed. Oh, that only gives us leather. Yeah, well. Yeah, we need to we need to find beak things. I think. Otherwise, we won't get that tasty meat. So let's see if we find some beak things. Probably, if we're just looking hard enough. Oh, there's another gorilla. I mean, it's a possibility to fight another gorilla, but I rather. Oh, okay, okay. So first off, we have a gorilla here that we need to deal with, and then we have like three big things over there. If if that is still uh, a thing. It really looks like they don't take that much damage anymore, don't they? There we go, the ladder. What is Sim shooting at? Oh boy, here we go, lads. Here we go. The big boys are here. They're here to play. Okay, hops, stay out of the goddamn way. And Sim, flank... Flank, flank, flank. Here we go. That's the big test. Oh, he's a light... Um, let's see, how much damage does he de uh, does the, do the light infantry get from uh, getting hit? I just want to see how, how heavily they get hurt. Okay, that was a parry, apparently. Again, well done. Hey, well done, Pia. You're really smashing that. Oh shit, there's more. Oh shit. Oh. I think we've 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 hit the mother load here. Holy shit. Okay, Sim, we're just going to use Sim real quick to um to just steal one piece of meat of each of these to kill them. Oh boy, I really hope I survived this. One of our guys is already out. We have, um, oh, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight speak things still remaining. Might even need to get hops into the fight here. Oh, hops is on block. That's actually fine. Getting hops on block. He needs to survive anyway. Okay, another one down. Excellent. Oh. You know, uh, like, a few months ago, I would have just given up. I would have just thought, I'm dead here. But I'm just I'm just watching them beat up, like, a, a half a dozen beak things. And I'm not quite sure when we got so strong all of a sudden. Or maybe beak things are always were that, I don't want to say weak, but manageable. You know what I mean? That is curious for me, but still, lovely. All right, I think that's all the beak things, is it? They're still trying to kill something. I'm not sure what it is, though. Oh, there's another beak thing there still. Yeah, but it's almost dead. Yay, Zim takes the kill. I really would like, like stats on this game. Of uh, things, um, you know, kill shots, damage dealt. How cool would that be? Why are you carrying around stuff like that? Jesus. 
All right, that's all the food we ever wanted. Plus, um, freaking um, leather. That's excellent. That's more than excellent. I mean, it couldn't have gone better, I don't think. Uh, we lo we didn't lose any. We two, three, four, five are out. But they can still carry stuff, technically speaking. But yeah, um, Hobbs is patching up the wounded. Excellent. Oh, this is going great. Would you look at that? Seriously, I could, I never imagined beating up that many big things at once. <laughs> That's pretty amazing. Our squad has definitely proven that they are ready. To beat up anybody who comes in there, right? Oh, oh, I. Ah, oh, okay, he has angered another gorilla. Look at that, he's already dealt some damage. It's amazing. He can deal like 60 damage a shot. That's pretty decent, especially if you think against a human target. That might be able to disable an arm, even pre combat. Oh, okay. The, the longer we stay here, the worse it's gonna get. We definitely should try to get out of here quickly. Otherwise, we might uh, attract more. I mean, it is great that we managed to beat that many weak things, but I don't think we want to um, get more. I really don't think. No room for that item, yeah. Just so they don't wake up again. There we go, that's that. Yig longer has some space, so let me grab food. Bean hop. Uh, Zim, yeah, Zim can get some more, of course. Scratch. Yeah, it looks like actually all of the guys that were knocked out are the light infantry. The ones that are not trained as well yet. AKA the ones that, generally speaking, will take more damage. It kind of makes sense if you think about it. But still, I'm, I'm glad that they all survived. That's, that's nice, you know? Oh, Freya is... Uh Basically, not not really able to do anything anymore. Pia really did well, didn't she? She, like, blocked one of the big things for several smashes. She really did well. Yeah, I think that's it. We cannot really take that much more. Um, well, we can technically trade with the downed team members. And just dump that into their inventory and then we'll just drag them back, more or less. Like this, we can get even more in our inventories. Fumin will trade with Slink. There you go. And now we can get even more. And that's pretty much it. Okay, now we need to pick up uh, the team members that are down. Oh, okay, you have your arm injured, that's fine. And then I think, oh yeah, Freya, we need to pick her up as well. She has her leg injured right now. So that's not gonna work. Okay, let's go, guys. Oh, I just thought, is somebody carrying off a beak thing? <laughs> Not really what we wanted, guys. <laughs> wow, that was... That was amazing. That was an amazing fight. I love it. Look at that massacre that we left back here. One, two, three, four, five... I think six, seven beak things, three gorillos. More or less all at once. That is really helping me to gauge my, my power. It really does. This is amazing. <laughs> All right. 
Time to get back, uh, get all that loot off of us, and then, um, well, we'll have to quarantine, not quarantine, but uh, get our people back to health, of course. And then um, we should hopefully have enough dried meat to last us for a while. Because I'm pretty sure now we can separate the dry um, the dried meat for the, from the foul meat and just put the foul meat into the animal feeding stations. Should be enough for our, for Jeff and Stitches for a while, I'm sure. How is uh, how is the food barrel looking while we were gone? Uh, not terrible, but not good either. And we might just have to... I just want to be at a point where we have more raw material for food than we have actual... Than we can produce food, you know what I mean? It's kind of difficult to do, I suppose. But um, it would be nice to, to, to have that. Okay, so I will have to um, get all that food stuff out of my inventories next time and sort that all out but uh that's again we're gonna do that next time so guys thank you so much for watching i'll see you next time and uh take care